the Mexican-American border, a permanent symbol of distrust and fear. In 1848, after two years of bitter warfare, Mexico lost half of its land to neighboring America. Some 70 years later, a distrust lingered between the two countries. Germany saw this tension as an opportunity, perhaps even the key to winning the First World War. The Mexican president at the time, Venustiano Carranza, would entertain German diplomats here at his residence, Chapultepec Castle. What he lacked in charisma and charm, President Carranza made up for in physical presence, standing at almost two meters tall. Frank conversations with German attaches frequently took place in Chapultepec, often criticizing America and discussing how the two countries could form closer ties. Then, in 1917, a telegram from Berlin brought the First World War straight to Carranza's doorstep. We make Mexico a proposal of alliance on the following basis. Make war together, make peace together. The German foreign minister, Arthur Zimmermann, offered to help Mexico invade America, seizing back their lost lands, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Como Mexico perdió la mitad de su territorio a los Estados Unidos en una guerra injusta, Siempre hubo unas, un resentimiento enorme contra los Estados Unidos. De manera que cuando hubo la oferta del, del telegrama Zimmerman, había muchas personas que hubieran sido que, que pensado que era muy atractivo recuperar el territorio. Zimmerman believed an invasion would distract America and prevent them from joining the war in Europe. But the scheme backfired spectacularly. The coded message had been intercepted and decrypted by the Allies on its way to Mexico. The German plot was revealed to the world. The Zimmermann telegram had inadvertently pushed America into war with Germany. Along the Mexican-American border, tensions rose. Nogales was a major border city. Before Zimmermann's blunder, Mexicans and Americans lived side by side, unhindered by barriers. But the telegram had spawned a climate of paranoia, a paranoia that escalated into a shootout on the 27th of August, 1918, the Battle of Nogales. Nobody knows how many people died on that date. Those days there were just rumors of German infiltrators to the US through Mexico. One city was then carved in two. A permanent fence was erected, transforming Nogales, and with it, the entire border. Before the war, it was really easy to get across the border. However, after 1918, they kept increasing the checkpoints, the paperwork, and the fence that they is getting higher and higher. Today, there are almost 700 miles of fence separating the two countries, and another 1,300 miles of virtual wall made up of sensors, cameras, and drones. Zimmerman's telegram had far-reaching consequences for Mexico. The fears it stoked contributed to America's long-lasting image of Mexico as a security problem that must be stopped. <laughs> 